Hey guys, Buck 90 here coming to you with another NECA review. This time we're going to be looking at the Warrior Predator from the NECA Series 6 Predator 2 line. As you can tell, this is the Warrior Predator, see, from Predator 2 movie. Comes with the little throwing disc. He's got a... I don't think he has any other accessories on him. But yeah, this one looks pretty cool too. On the back here we have the picture of the Warrior Predator. His aliases are Ram, and the weapons are throwing disc and his wrist blades. You can pause that every day if you want again, if you really want to. Uh, the rest of the figures here. Got the Warrior Predator, which I'm reviewing right now. Got the Lost Predator, and the Scout Predator. So yeah, let's get this guy open and see how cool the Warrior Predator is. Last but not least, we have the Warrior Predator. Opened up and out of its packaging. Now I'll give you a little 360 view. Of this guy. Uh, as the other one, the green one, I like the blue texture on this figure as well. Uh, the armor is really nicely painted and sculpted on as well. He's got a similar armor to the Scout Predator, uh, Scout Predator but it's got a little more rust on it, I can tell, than the other one. So let's get a closer look at this figure. As you can tell by the face, the face is really nice and a little bit reminiscent of the Gort mask from the Gort Predator figure. His hair is a little bit shorter, so it's easier to manage. Um, they're also made of rubber. It's got a nice little rubber texture to the hair. So yeah, I've said it once, so I'll say it, again, say it again. NECA makes really, really nice Predator figures. I mean, I know McFarlane has done them as well, but they look kind of bulky and like too muscular to look anything like the Predators in the movie do. And NECA's the only ones who have taken on this job and making them look exactly like in the movie. So as for the articulation, standard is the other one. Uh, as you can see, he's got the little armor right there that's very similar to the City Hunter and to the Scout Predator and pretty much the other Predator probably also. He's got the small gun here also that, you know, can go back, forward. Um, but luckily the articulation doesn't get, uh, what's it called, altered by the, by the little armor. So arms go in and out, forward and back. One point in the elbow. The arms go around. He's got cool little wrist blades that I really like. So let's see. I don't know. Take the wrist blades out. I believe they can come out. If not, then uh, uh, they're pretty stuck in there. But yeah, um, it comes with the accessory, also the little display, which I have them holding right now because I don't know where else to put that little wrist uh, display. Also got a holster here for the wrist display if you don't want to have them post with it. It comes with uh, these cool little armor thingies going around him. Oh, yep, predator butt. He's got a nice rust texture to his armor, actually, which I pretty, I kind of like. I like this rustiness. You got some, you got some greenish kind of. Um, should have read the color of that. You got some of that color going there, and some silver, and rusty red right there. He's got armor plates here on the side of his thighs. Also got two points in the knee, to bend there. Same articulation with the foot, ankle rockers, and foot goes in and out. Yeah, this guy is pretty awesome. Um, if anything, he might be just a repaint of the City Hunter, maybe, and of the, the Scout Predator. But I think this the guy is pretty cool. What do you guys think? Look at the side of the mask right there. He's got some cracks on the mask as well. I guess it's from battle damage. I, in case you're looking at that eye, that eye is a little painted on because it was kind of whitish. I decided to paint on it with a Sharpie. Not the best idea, but you know, at least it covers it up so it doesn't look so white. But yeah, this figure is pretty cool, and uh, now I have them all. So let's look so at them. Here we have my entire Lost Predator clan, all in one display case. Outstanding, right? Well, technically, I have my City Hunter right there, but I have the Unmasked one there because I thought it would be best to put the Unmasked one with the rest of them.
but yeah, sheer awesomeness. Seriously, I can't get enough of these Predator figures, and I can't wait for Series 7, and for possibly Series 8. But yeah, check that out. Neat, huh? I managed to put them in a way so that you can still see one and the other in the back. I kind of put them in order of how I, uh, in order of how I got the figures. So the ones all the way in the back are the ones I got uh, first, and then I started getting the ones in the middle, and then the these three right there. So yeah, as you can tell, my Predator collection has been increasing and will most likely increase more because I have space down there. So why not, right? <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much it for that review, guys. Um, subscribe if you already haven't, like this video if you enjoyed it, and, you know, come back for more. I'm pretty sure I'll have more within the weeks. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.